It could be that time. The following contest is a gauntlet match. And from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 456 pounds, Vader! That is a scary human being. It's like he's possessed. Yeah, but what's more terrifying is the agility that this big man possesses. Gentlemen, Jack has arrived. And from Manchester, England, weighing in at 167 pounds, gentlemen, Jack Gallagher. Vader showing us how to get it done. Definitely an electric feeling to this venue tonight. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. Oh no, here we go. Vader sees it. Flat out power by the Mastodon. Oh, it's over. Come on, Jack Gallagher, you can do this. What a win for Vader. this kid bright bright future for this young man and from Dudley England weighing in at 175 pounds Tyler Bay They got him there. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Vader showing us how to get it done. Oh, we think this man means business. He looks a bit off his game here. But not for a second do I expect Ooh. him to back down now. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Punishing attack on the body. by Vader. Vader got him there. Showing some quickness there. Inside the ring now. And he's heading back in. Two. 
Big time Samoan drop right there. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. You have to think that's it. And Tyler Bate is really taking a pounding. You can't help but wonder how much more of this he can take. He has got to do something quick. Given how impressive Tyler Bate has been thus far, guys, you almost forget that he's just a kid. Oof. If you remember, he first stepped into a WWE ring when he was just 19 years old. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Vader showing us how to get it done. I'll stress further what Michael was saying about Tyler Bates' age. Vader is looking at this right now. Oh, man, a Mastodon size choke slam. Game, set, match. This one is over. Oh, no. Here we go. Vader sees it. Power bomb. That has got to be it. Did you shoulders on the mat? Win for Vader. Here is your winner, Vader. Put a check in the win. The Bruiser Weight. And from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunne. Damaging. And remember, submissions only as we get underway here. I assure you, making one of these competitors quit will be easier said than done. Vader doing some damage. Vader got him there. Vader showing us how to get it done. One move after the other. It's devastating. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Calling me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Concentrating on the body here. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Nice move. Vader doing some damage. And a powerful forearm. with a face buster. Ooh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. What is this superstar going to do now? Oh. Take a nap. He's losing his grip, Michael. Oh, 
down. He breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. In a submission match, the name of the game is to make your opponent tap out from a submission move. There have been so many submission specialists throughout the history of this great business. Brett Hitman Hart, Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, William Regal, and Daniel Bryan are a few who come to mind. And on the women's side, I think about Alundra Blaze, Natalya, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and the boss, Sasha Banks. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Corey, earlier you spoke about a submission match, and one thing I'd like to point out is that a submission match is not necessarily the same as an I quit match. The key difference is that a submission match requires the use of a submission maneuver. In an I quit match, victory can be achieved by bringing your opponent to the point where they quit as a result of the overall punishment. They Vader is looking to end this right now. Mastered on size choke slam. That has got to be it. That'll knock you silly, that's for sure. The W Vader wants to put this away. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. That should do it, Cole. There's no coming back from a slam of that magnitude. We're gonna lock it in here. Is he done? No, he releases the holes. What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? Before you spoke of the submission match between Charlotte Flair and Natalya, and I need to point out that this match was not Flair's figure eight versus Natalya's sharpshooter. Victory could be achieved by making your opponent tap out to any submission maneuver. I think we all know why the Nature Boy was banned from ringside. When Natalya had Charlotte locked in the sharpshooter, it seemed that the Queen of Hearts was going to be crowned the new champion. We're gonna lock it in here. Is he done? He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. him out. What a fool. He had him dead to rights. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't, Cole. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? When we talk about submission matches, we have to speak about one that, in many people's eyes, set the standard. It was WrestleMania 13. We're gonna lock it in here. Oh boy, he is rolling. Interesting decision here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. Byron, you mentioned the submission match between Bret Hart and Vader wants to put this away. Oh, man, a mastodon size choke slam. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left? We're going to lock it in here. Is he done? Oh, and he releases the hold. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. WWE made history in 2017 with a tournament to crown the inaugural United Kingdom champ. Oh no, here we go. Vader sees it. Flat out power by the Mastodon. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Nice job. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. What Michael was saying about Pete Dunne's performance in the UK Championship Tournament. If you didn't know him heading in, you sure as heck knew who he was coming out. I'll tell you one person who definitely knew who Pete Dunne. We're gonna lock it in here. No, he releases the holes. What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? Jeez. We're gonna lock it in here. Is he done? Wow, he got out of it. 
Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. And Vader says, not this time. He tossed him like a sack of potatoes. They're going to lock it in here. There's no way he's giving up now. Interesting decision here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. I think every superstar remembers their first match on Raw, but for Pete Dunne, Byron, his first match has a little extra special meaning as it took place in his home country of England. Well, not only that, Michael, but Pete Dunne also walked away from that match with a decisive victory over the WWE Cruiserweight Champion at the time. Great gets to the ropes, forcing the break. And Michael, I have to question the decision to go for a submission so close to the ropes. We already established that Pete Dunne was successful in his first Raw match, but to me, the biggest takeaway from that was that the 23-year-old didn't exhibit an ounce of nervousness in front of a sellout crowd of nearly 15,000 in his home country on a big show like Monday Night Raw. That's because Dunne oozes confidence. He was dominant that night because he knows it's just a matter of time before he'll be back on Raw and in the main event, most likely. One of the things a superstar who's competing in a submission match has to be careful of is if they have an injury or have been injured in the past and people know about it. You can bet in a submission match that your opponent is going to target that body part immediately. It's like having a giant bullseye on an arm, leg, ankle, or shoulder. Byron, you brought up that a submission match can be especially dangerous for a competitor who's injured or had a known injury. I think that's why it's just as important as a submission match to be able to reverse the submission move from an opponent as it is to apply a submission maneuver to an opponent. What a win for Vader. Here is your winner, Vader. Terrific victory for... This man is a real force, Drew McIntyre. A revamped attitude, a revamped appearance. And from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. I think this man means business. The time for talk is over. We'll find out who the best is in the ring right now. I am so excited this moment is finally here. And it looks to me like this Ouch. entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. Uh-oh, the delayed gut wrench suplex. Clearly on a mission here. Drew Mac 
McIntyre fans with some reason to worry here. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. This is going to be big, one way or another. Hater got him there. showing us how to get it done. If you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the wow. chosen one. And while it may have been premature back then, backslide going for the pin. And he's a guy that can flip a switch and turn it on like this. And McIntyre with a quick kick out. Drew McIntyre has chosen to kick out here. See what I did? Mastodon size choke slam. Can he finish the job? Absolutely punishing. As Byron alluded to, Drew McIntyre's initial run in WWE had ups and downs, but ever since his return in 2017, I'd say McIntyre's among the most dominant superstars on the roster. As would the people he's defeated since returning. And let's look at some of these names, Cole. Bobby Roode, Andrade Cien Alma, Seth Rollins. Those are some pretty big names, if you ask me. Look at this. Vader is looking to fly. Look out! Vader is looking at this right now. Powerbomb! That should do it. There may be no coming back from that slam. Penny predicament. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. Here is your winner, Vader! The referee's three count ends this. from Manchester, England, weighing in at 256 pounds, the British Bulldog! Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. Got him there. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Scoot slam. When you see that coming at you, it's going to be bad news. Play with that gut wrench suplex. British Bulldog not looking good here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Toss to the outside. Uses the headbutt. You know when you take direct hits like that, it becomes hard to move. If you can't move, you can't win. Targeting the back of the neck now. Bulldog not looking himself here. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. 
He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole oh, body man. starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. Yeah, I'm sure he saw things going differently for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case, unfortunately for him. This kind of offense he's known for. British Bulldog looks like he's down and out. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. You hate to give up on a guy, but there may be no way around him taking this loss here tonight. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And he lands a hellacious uppercut. That landed perfectly. And a punishing power slam. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a false count anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere. Simple, right? Even Saxton can understand those rules. Oh, I think this man means business. Look out! In describing this match, Corey, you said it can end anywhere, which means we could see this match conclude in the ring, the stands, the locker room. Heck, it could even out end outside the streets. Yeah, and on top of that, it's worth noting that anything is legal in this match, guys. The only rule is there are no rules. Wave that Union Jack because here comes the British Bulldog. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively. Bulldog. A surprise reversal from Vader. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, no. Here we go. Vader sees it. That's how you put an exclamation point. Here's a cover. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still willing to bet he finds a way to mess it up. This one's not over yet. We've seen plenty of people come back from being in a lot worse shape. Down he goes with a scoop slam. And what a reversal from the British Bulldog. Oh, and the reversal by Vader. Now it's Vader struggling a bit. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. This isn't his first rodeo. He had to... And here's Vader looking for a pinfall. And he got a near fall out of it. Oh, that was close. Vader showing us how to get it done. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Vader is looking at this right now. Boom! Massive choke slam. That one should put the Bulldog down for good. Can British Bulldog stay in this after that? We'll see how long he can sustain this attack. Showing off some of his speed there. Kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. He's not giving up that easy. Vader got him there. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. You know, I'd say the fall's kind of... Too close for cover. He can't let that happen again. 
Wow, the British Bulldog showed some serious heart there. We've seen some very surprising Royal Rumble entrants in the past. You can't help but wonder if we'll get any tonight. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson Sergeant Slaughter alley fight had many of the elements of a false count anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1981, Saxton? Good point. Scoop slam! Oh, here we go. He's just so dominant. Big trouble for Vader. He's in control. This is not going to end well for Vader. This is going to be bad for Vader. Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a Falls Count Anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxton. Vader's in trouble. What's he got in mind? And what a reversal from the British Bulldog. Dodges that one. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. Yeah, keep in mind, British Bulldog making his move. It's got to be over now. The Bulldog's in a good spot now. Cover here! One, two, three! British Bulldog did it! Here is your winner, the British Bulldog! And gentlemen, British Bulldog has to be happy with this victory. I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a match! Folks, that match is why people say the Royal Rumble pay-per-view is a can't-miss